Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Davy Jones Locker, the mod pack created by Teddy here. Now you can see there's a few differences here, I'm going to explain why. Uh, yesterday, was it yesterday? Yesterday, I, I think it was, or the day before, one of the, one of the two, <laughs> it was yesterday, yeah. I recorded uh, this episode, um, plus a couple of others, not this, of this, but of uh, the other uh, things as well, the other playthroughs. Um, so that I've got enough stuff for the weekend, that way I don't have to record when my daughter goes to bed, because I normally like to record during the day. Um, however, for some strange reason, on two of them, it didn't record my mic. So, yeah, that happened. It was only a 20 minute video, uh, but we think we did get a fair amount done. Uh, let me run you through everything that we made. We made this lava generator. It creates power, which is also feeding into the segment. We'll get to the segment in a minute. Show you the lava generator, the recipes. Come on. Ah, here we go. Alright, so lava generator. It took four gold, uh, five gold, sorry, a block of iron, a furnace, and two redstone. That was easy enough. Now, I made a sag mill to grind cobblestone um, into, into siftable ores. That is from Ender IO. Sag mill wasn't too difficult either. You need three flint, four iron there, a piston, and to make the machine uh, chassis, we had to make this. Now, the, uh, the iron bars, easy enough, as are the more iron ingots there. The basic capacitor, I need a copper ingot, some redstone, and some gold nuggets. Again, easier. I wound up making another one of them because some um, end IO stuff can take these as upgrades, but this one, it didn't really want to. So, yeah. Um, but, I found a problem with this. Uh, let, me, let me put some lava in the generator here and take this off that was oh it's right there give it give it give me thank you i'm gonna put some lava in here so you can see what the issue is see i want a gravel to sift but as you can see there it's going straight to sand and we only get the occasional i like the sounds on this you only get the occasional piece of gravel um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this back on, uh, let's do it, no not that, that was a, pro that was a problem, with there was a problem with putting it there, and there, okay, so, I also made another one of these just to suck up the, uh, another vacuum hopper just to suck everything into the chest here, but uh, I also made the autonomous activator. To make the autonomous activator, it's not that hard either. A chest, a piston, a redstone reception coil, which is gold, and two redstone, and some tin gears, which is iron with four tin. Needed two of them. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't want to work the way it used to. It must it must be due to an update to the mod. It used to just it used to work this, even though it was been configured like this. It used to work, it used to sift things in the sieve here. As you can see that is not the case. This also requires power as well so that's currently run out of power. Um, I did want to make, the reason why it's also compact right now, I have been sifting by the way myself manually, but the um, reason why it's so compact is I wanted to make, oh not I, not, that's it. Uh, no let's get energy conduit then. ENG Conduit Conduit, there we go <laughs> Wanted to make the lowest energy conduit To make this, we need, we've got some of these We needed these for making I can't remember actually, but I'll show you the recipe for them as well It's easy enough to get the binder composite Gravel, uh, sand and clay it Gets you eight Eight smelts into uh, one smelts into four, so that eight then becomes thirty-two. Um, yeah, so but it's the conductive iron that was the problem. Apparently, you can do it in here with some molten iron and some destabilized destabilized redstone. 
Now, I actually tried putting some redstone in here, and it ate up several, several tanks worth. Not just buckets worth, but 4,000 plus tanks worth of lava, and it didn't finish. So, these items in here were items I gained from um, loot bags up top. This one here, that was a very, very lucky one. This, all of this gold, came from a super golden apple. That was a very, very lucky find. This is what we've got in here. Let's see if we've got anything new. Oh, another loot bag. Epic loot bag. No mobs? Ah, oh well. What do we get? What do we have? Another thomium. Thom thom yeah, we have another axe. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and put these. No, can't put them in there. That's full. Do I really want them in there? I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and start moving all of this stuff over. Because I would very much like to start. I uh, have them available to, to convert the ores um, as and when we need them. At least as and when we need them for the moment. Yes, yeah, very, very full up. No crushed lead in there. In there. Get all of these gone. So we're not going to have everything over there, unfortunately. Why is it dirt in that one? That's odd. I wonder how the dirt's doing that kind of thing. Did I do that on camera or off camera? Or in the previous... In the missing episode, I mean. I made a, an automated dirt making system. Just a simple one. No, it was in there. It was on camera. The episode was called Simple Automation. Yes, that's fine. So, this episode... Oh yeah, the reason why I got the sag mill, by the way, instead of a pulverizer, let me show you why. The pulverizer recipe in this is actually quite difficult. The copper gears, the piston, the redstone reception core, all easy. It's the machine frame. Right, so the basic gear we could make. Um, the tin gear we could make. What one was it? Electrum. Tin. What was it? There's something in there that was stopping me from doing this singular uh, sing signalium signalum whatever anyway this was difficult this is what was preventing me from doing it pulverized silver copper 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 but the disabled redstone once again so what i would like to get made in this episode is um i forgot what it's called magma crucible is it a magma crucible? And an electrum one. We can do the electrum, that's fine, that's not a problem. Pulverized silver and gold. In fact, if I had to put some silver in here, it would mix with the gold. Make let's, let's do that real quick. Let's put some silver. Silver, silver. Where's, who's got the silver? We've not got any silver. Ah, there's the silver. It's only six. I'll tell you what, let's use some of our stuff that's in here. Okay, let's take all of this out. We're not going to put all of this in. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It depends on how much we'll have left over. Let's just quickly break this down. That doesn't take long at all. And three. See if we can improve upon that. And no, still three. That's all right. Um, I might put all three in there, in there then, just till we've got some backups um, of the Electrum. 
While that's cooking, cooking up, let's quickly go and check on the dirt automation. I do want to see how it's doing. Was it in here? Yes. 28 so far. In fact, has that run out? It looks like it has. Well, I'm not going to make any more for now because our shears are actually in here. We can do it. Alright, let's quickly do this then. I'm not doing it all. I'm just, you know, let's just get this all quickly. There we go. <laughs> just speeds up the process. Um, I'm not going to do it all because, let's face it, I don't want to hang around in here all day. I'll do the rest in between episodes. Just shearing, replanting, all of that sort of stuff. I'll do in between episodes. It makes it a lot easier. Gets it done. That way you guys don't have to endure it. Right, this should be melted down now. There we go. Molten Electrum. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Let me just make sure that I am making the right thing. <laughs> uh, furnace, pulverizer. I don't even know what that is. And just a confuser, a cyclic assembler, aqueous accumulator, igneous extruder. Uh, mixes hot and cold fluids. Hold on, let's make sure here. Um, I want to stabilize redstone. Uh, destabilize redstone. Crucible fan. Uh, magma crucible. Yes, I am making the right thing here. Okay. So how many ingots does that leave us with? Three more. I would, of course, just get everything out of here in between episodes. I just wanted to leave it in there this time just to show you. Uh, what it, you know, what happened during the missing episode? There we go. Right, election block. So, magma crucible. What do we need? We're gonna need some nether bricks. And in order to do this, we're gonna need some um, nether rack, which means using some of our lava and redstone. So we're gonna need what's our redstone at? Here. We're going to need eight of these. Quite costly. So I need to move this, get this out of the way. Yeah, come here. Alright, so I'm going to need to fill this, this up. I'm going to use this lava first and resort to that lava afterwards. There we go. Put the lava in there and then give it a redstone. That's pretty much it. So, I'm going to do this another eight times. I'm not sure how much, how much is left. Oh, we do have enough in here. Oh, that's awesome. Perfect. Then we need to go cook this up. So, let's bung that in there. What else are we going to need? We can prepare it while we wait. A leadstone energy cell. Oh, wow. We are going to need a lot of um, redstone for this. A lot more than we have. Okay. Um, I want to see what happens if we put the sand into this thing. So, let's take this away for a minute put that in there then we're going to need some lava that's still filling up so let's go ahead and put some lava in from here silicon okay so that's not going to work we need to manually do this okay so i'm going to go make a load of dust sift it up and i'll be back with you as soon as i've done that so i will see you guys in just a moment all right guys slight change of plans um i was looking at recipes and everything and I realised that you could use an alloy smelter from Ender.io to make the uh, ingots that we need. The reason why we hadn't made one yet 
was quite simply we didn't have the iron. We only had two iron left. But then I've remembered we had all the iron in there. And I've gone ahead and smelted most of the iron that we got I just got from shifting. I did get like twelve redstone. But where is it? Iron. That's our iron now. And we have one of these as already, so I think it would be fine to do it this way. So let's go ahead and make the alloy smelter. So we've got one of them. We just need some iron bars and the ingots. So I'm going to move one of these tables over. Where is my... There you are. I'm going to grab one of these and move it over here because it's going to make life a lot easier for us. Right, so... Let's make one of these. We need the iron bars. Easy, easy enough. Um, then we've got the we've got the basic capacitor. We've got everything else for the machine chassis. We are going to need some furnaces. One, two, three. Next, we're going to need a cauldron. Love the shift clicking. <laughs> and I think that's everything we need. Maybe the cauldron won't let it shift click. No, apparently we only have one furnace. No, two furnace, sorry. We are one short. There we go. Let's try shift clicking again. There we are. Now we have everything we need. What we've got to do is get past all of this stuff. Make sure it's close enough to that to gain power. Um, now, I am going to pick this up just because I don't want this hogging all the power for the moment. So let's go ahead and fill this up a little bit. Now this is now filling up, which is awesome. Uh, all, all smelting, alloys only, furnace. Oh, it can be used as a furnace as well. Awesome. Um, we'll get alloy smelting only for now. So, to make the conduit, what we need is conductive iron, to make conductive iron, is iron and redstone. Well, that's very, very simple. Um, one, two, three, four. let's make two lots. There we go. There we are, it's starting to work. Awesome. Um, item conduit speed upgrades. I'm trying to figure out what will fit in here. Let's have a look. No, not UI, IO. Thank you. Because uh, it, it seems to be different from what I'm, I've seen. What on earth is that? A dark axe. Oh, there's lots of stuff like that down here. But that's not what we're looking at right now. Um, I mean, I doubt it's these. I really have no idea. If anyone, if anyone knows what would go, what what we need for upgrading this thing, I do like that UI. It's uh, importing, outporting. Um. Hmm. What's this? Glider wings. Oh, it's basically like the hand glider from uh, Extra Utilities, I think it is. Uh, I really have no clue as to what you put in here to upgrade it. What's this? An enchanter. Ooh. Anyway, how are we doing? Almost finished. One, one and a half left. What we can, can do for now is take this and make the first lot up. Boom. Nice. Um, while that's doing that, there is something else that I want to make. This is all building up to something. Because we can't use the um, autonomous activator with sifting. Uh, 
I always get the spelling of this wrong. Yeah, he did it right first time. <laughs> what you can make in place of it is an automatic C. And for this, you can use it use machine chassis route or an electron gear, which we can do. So we're gonna go the electric gear route route, whatever. Invar to make invar is very simple. It is two iron one ferrous, or if you've already cooked it up and everything, it's called nickel, which we haven't got in there. We should have in one of these two somewhere. No, what about nickel? We have nickel. There we go. Let's go ahead and take that one. It's reversed. It's, it becomes ferrous once it's cooked. I'm not sure how much we need, I should have looked, but we'll have more than enough here. So that'll be 10 ingots worth of this. So, I think... Ah, see? Always good at get it the wrong way around. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, so we can go 10 of these and... Can't really half this. <laughs> okay. What the hell? Broadsword. What the hell happened there? I think that's what you call a glitch and a half. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to melt down three of these and ten of these. We're going to have one ingot spare of the, of the nickel ore. That's fine. So grab that. There we are. Make up some more of these. Where'd the conduit binder go? There we are. Now what else I would like... From Ender IO is... Let's see here. There's an item conduit. I need to find oh, damn thing. Um, let's see, it's redstone, it's conductor, it's insulated conductor, energy, enhanced energy, ender energy, fluid conduit, pressurized. All right, well, for the fluid conduit, what do we need? Some quite clear glass. You can even chisel the glass to quite clear glass. Where is the quite clear? There it is. Or simply cook some sand up in the alloy smelter, which I think we're going to do. Let's grab some sand. Pop this into here. If I do that. There's a quite clear glass being made up. So what else do we need for it? just a binder. And for the item conduit, where are you? There you go. We need some pulsating iron. Now, do we have any of that in here? We do. Nice. But, so, just so we know, how do we make the pulsati pulsating iron? An ender pearl and iron in the alloy smelter. That's easy enough, as long as you've got the resources for it, of course. Right, you should be all done by now. Yes, you are. Fantastic. Now it's going to be some that we can't get out in block form. I forgot it made so much in one go, actually. So let's go ahead and do this. There we go. That will that, be more than enough. Actually, no, all we need is the bun for now. Alright guys, I am sorry about that. The moment, the very instant I took the uh, fluid conduit out of here, the game crashed. I don't know if that's going to happen every time I make them or if that was a one-off or not, I don't know. I also took the opportunity just to tidy this area up a bit now that we've got uh, getting where we need to be and I went ahead and made up every ingot worth of material that we have. You know, took the opportunity while we had it. So, we've done all this now. Now, I think, I may be wrong, but 
yes, you can turn quite clear glass back into normal glass. I wasn't sure, I just wanted to double check while I was here. Um, so we have you, you. Now we did want to make some uh, item conduit as well, didn't we? There is that, please don't crash. Good. Right, so let's set this up real quick. Um, first thing I want to do is a fluid conduit. So fluid, energy, and you, right. Fluid, I want to go up and over. So I want it to go on all three of these. Now, that's not doing anything right now. So if you click on this bit, you've got some options. If you click on, it happens with any of them, but this is the one we want to focus on here. So I want to extract and active without signal. That is now pulling out the lava, going into there, and should be, filling that up as well. Fantastic. Um, I wonder how much that's going to cost to make. How long it's going to take to make. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Is that the lowest one? I think that's the lowest one. Five million. Hmm. Let's, let's try. Okay, can't make that one. Ah, basic capacitor bank. Oh, that shouldn't take too long. I can make this up really quick. Okay, so we're gonna need some of these. We're gonna need some redstone here. And going to need some copper. So quickly capacitor banks what these do these are basically energy storage devices how many do we need we need four what's stopping us redstone of course it's redstone and I think we're all out of redstone now so okay we're not going to be making that this episode then <laughs> Well, it doesn't look like it. All right, I'll make that next episode then. Um, right, power. For now then, we're gonna have to stick power up like so. Is that filling these up? No, oh. Yes, so it doesn't look like I need to do anything there. Now the great thing about these are you can actually stick them side by side, which I think is fantastic. Uh, but we're not going to be doing that on this bit here, of course. Hey, oh god. Extract. There we go. Um, right, so they're filling up. Now we wanted to make an auto sieve, didn't we? Wow, uh, caps lock on. See if we can get this done really quickly. Now I did bring down uh, from one of the other rooms. I was my bar. I left that in there. Uh, some string. Do I have it? Oh, I have it in my inventory. Okay. So we're going to need another one of these, like we've built before. Silk mesh. Right, here you go. We're going to need electrum and the iron. So where's our electrum? Here. And the iron is here. So there's our gear. Need some Invar Nuggets. And I think we have everything. Yes, we do. Fantastic. So, I'm going to stick this. Um, I'm going to have to stick it here, I think. And for now, just run this along like so. That should, hopefully, is that not gaining power? Is it because it's still filling these up? That's maxed. How are you doing? That's maxed. So you should either be filling this up now. Yes, you're filling this up. Perfect. Let's give it a test, shall we? Now, let's see here. It might auto. Oh, okay. You can't 
tell it to do multiple stuff at once. That is a shame. How do we get it to auto extract? I'll tell you what we could do. We could use a, just use an item conduit. Right, that being the case, let's take this out. So quickly pick this up. Thank you. I don't know what I picked up first time. That was weird. Right, so if we go ahead and pop this here, then we can grab our item conduit and just say like this. Again, extract active without signal. Um, I'm glad it kept, it kept its power. Let's just double check this. I can't put stuff in there. You have to wait for it to finish up. That auto extracted, I saw, well, didn't see it happen, but the stuff didn't uh, stay in its inventory there. Come on. I see if that one didn't give it anything. Okay, so that's not auto extracting. What if I did it from the top? No. Hmm. This is from X Astris. Let's see here. Speed upgrade, fortune upgrade. All be handy. But it doesn't look like we have what we need. That will be awesome. Might have to look into doing this next episode. Uh, that does what I think it does. That would help us turn stuff into gravel. Um, okay, okay. One more quick test. I know we're running over. Wait for it to finish. There we go. It's finished doing what, that stuff. Let's try... Let's just pop it on top of here instead because I don't want it to pull out from the barrel. So if I try it like that, it didn't keep its power that time. Weird. There we are. So let's tell this. No, no, no. Thank you. Let's go with the empty hand. Damn it. What? Oh wow, we're having trouble keeping it keeping up with the lava requirements. Okay. I knew that would happen. Damn it. Give me some cobble. Alright, here goes. And back up again. So then we just, like before. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, let's plug this back up. Oh, but first I wanted to do this, didn't I? So I could gain access to this. Okay, that's odd. I've never seen that before. Active without signal, are you working now? No, okay, well, I'm gonna have to look into this, guys, try and figure out why it's not extracting. Um, in the meantime, though, I will be in between episodes just uh, grabbing, like making a load of, of, of dust and just putting it in there to deal with while we're doing other things during episodes. Um, additionally, I think I might have to make up some more of these and figure out a way of doing this. Uh, maybe move this and, and get a secondary one going. Um, in fact, actually, I'm going to quickly... I've got a better idea. This won't take too long, guys. 
seriously, just just bear with me, please. Um, I need to pull out a bucket from you to do this. Pop it in here. So I'm going to need one of the redstone. So come back, please. And pick this up. And pick you up. Oh, that could have gone really bad. <laughs> Right, I need to get out of here. Um, let's just use a piece of cobblestone to get out. To get rid of you, you don't matter. No, that's fine, that's fine. So stick that there. I need a piece of flint and steel. Uh, that should have some flint here. I don't have any iron on me, but there's some in the chest here. Thank you. We used up a lot of iron again, didn't we? Because, right, basically, the torch gives you a times one on the. Um, oh, that needs to be lower down. Uh, Alright, alright, alright. Guys, I will be back in just a minute when I've finished sorting this out. <laughs> See you in a sec. All right, guys, well, I finally got this sorted. Um, right, as I was saying, uh, the crucible being on top of a torch gives you a times one melting speed. The crucible being on top of lava gives you a times two cooking speed. A crucible on top of fire, a times three melting speed. Now what did I do with my lava? I popped it in the tank, didn't I? Let's grab this. Put that back. Then I need to grab my piping here. Just do that. So that should start filling up. Any second now. Yeah, it should have done already. It should start. Ah, oh, there we go. So that is now going to start melting stuff down a little faster than it would have done. Um, I have made a small mistake here, but it's no problem. I made it too low, basically. I can just do this. It's fine. Then I need to set this to extract without signal that it should now fill this up. Is this not working? Why? Oh, is it filling that up first? Or is there no lava? No, it's putting the lava out the second it's made. But for some reason... I don't know. I know it's been a long episode, guys, and I will finish it off any second now, I promise you. Um, I'm just trying to figure this out real quick. Right, what's that then? That's a fluid conduit. That's a fluid conduit. So why are you not hooking up? You should be hooking up. Alright, let's try that one more time. Maybe it's because it's trying to go uphill. But I don't think that's actually an issue. It shouldn't be. Alright guys, well in between episodes then, I'm just going to raise this up. I'll do that in between episodes, get all this working. Um, so I want to thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to rate and comment below. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.